What's going on you guys, Claire, welcome back to the channel Code Commerce. And in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how you can build this skeleton loader inside of React. I'm also gonna be using a little bit of Tailwind CSS. So as you can see, when I just refresh, I know my picture is covering it a little bit, but as we refresh, we get this nice little skeleton loading. It just makes it a lot nicer on the front end uh, UI. So if you wanna see how I built this, start to finish, let's go ahead and jump into VS Code. Now I'm already in the folder that I'm gonna be working in, just this folder by the name of skeleton loader. Let's go ahead and open up our terminal in here, and I'm gonna go ahead and install our React application. So I'm going to be using Vite. So I'm going to type npm create Vite at latest. And we'll go ahead and install it inside our current directory. Let's scroll down to React. And I'll use JavaScript with a speedy web compiler. We'll type npm install. Now I'm going to be using Tailwind, like I said. So let's go on, go ahead and open up a new tab. I'm going to go to tailwindcss.com. We'll click on get started. And we'll find the framework guides. Scroll down. We'll find Vite. Next, it wants us to create a project. We've already done that. So... Next, we'll just install this here. So let's copy that, we'll paste it in there. Next, we'll need this npx tailwind css init dash p. Yeah, all right, and that's gonna create this tailwind.config file. So next we'll scroll down and we're just gonna grab this right here, this index source and all this stuff. We're just gonna copy that and paste it inside our content array. So go ahead and save and we can close that. And the final step to configuring tailwind, just go ahead and copy that in here. And we're gonna put that inside of our index.css. You can go ahead and just copy over everything like that. You can close that. Um, this app.css, we can go ahead and delete that. We're not gonna be using it. Next, we'll go into our, see our main, that looks good. Inside our app.jsx, let's go ahead and delete that. We'll delete some of those things and let's delete all of this code here we can delete that state as well. So if we go ahead and start our server, uh, npm run dev, we should see just a blank screen here. Oh, I'm gonna be on 5174, I believe. There we go, cool. So what I want to do first, okay, let's go ahead and I'm gonna create a new uh, file in here. I'll put it in a components folder. You don't have to, you can just put it in the root level, but I'm gonna say, uh, We'll say skeleton.jsx, say refce, just to generate our functional component. Now also I wanna create a card.jsx, okay? And our card, just to show you, our card is gonna be this right here, and then whenever we're loading, we're gonna show this skeleton. So hopefully that makes sense. And let's go back to here. Now what I'm gonna say in here, let's go ahead and bring in our card, just like that. Go ahead and save and then we'll also have our skeleton just like that let's go ahead and save now i'm just going to add a little bit i'm going to put a div in here and i'm just going to give this just a little bit of stylus i'll say flex justify center items center and we'll say h screen just kind of put it in the middle of the screen so let's do our card first. So inside our card, I'm gonna have a div in here. Then I'm gonna have an image. We'll bring over our image in just a second. Then I'll have another div with a P tag. And inside here, I'll just say Apple headphones. And I'll copy this down a couple times. We'll have a price, say something like 298. I don't know how much they cost these days. And then down here, we'll just say lorem 20, just to generate a little bit of text. So that should be what you see on the screen here. And what I'm gonna say in here, I'm gonna give this class name. I'll say border P-4. I was gonna say, we already have this nice little border in here. And I still see that skeleton on the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and comment that out just while we write this here. So padding of four, you can already see a little bit of padding in there. Next I'll say rounded, okay? And then we'll say shadow, if I can spell that, shadow dash two XL. I'm gonna say a width of 80%. And you can change up the dimensions, of course say a max width of 500 pixels. Let's go ahead and save, and that's our card so far. Now, next, this div here, I'm gonna say a relative. Now I wanna say H60 for a height and a mod margin bottom of four. And this is gonna be our image container. So next, what I'm gonna do is just pull over an image that I'm using. I'm just gonna put this in my assets folder. And this is the image I'm using right here. You can use whatever you want, of course. So let's go ahead and import, call this whatever you want. Headphones, we'll say headphones from our assets folder. And it's gonna be headphones.jpg. All right, and in here, we'll just say headphones. Now we should see our headphones. You can just put a slash in there. 
So that looks pretty good so far. What I'm gonna do is give a class name for this image. I'm gonna say absolute. I'm gonna say width full, height full, object cover. I'm gonna say rounded. That looks pretty good there. Now next, let's add just a little bit of styling to this text here. I'll say class name, I'll say font, we'll say semi bold, just like that. And this here, I'm gonna say class name, text small, and then we'll also say padding on the bottom of two, which is just eight pixels. That looks pretty good. And for this text here, we'll say font thin, just to thin it up a little bit. So that is our card. We are done with our card. You can actually go ahead and close that component. We're gonna be done with that. And next we're gonna be working on this skeleton here. So inside this div, I'm gonna have another div here. And then I'm gonna be using an SVG. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that over. You can use whatever you'd like here. So let's go ahead and give some styling here. So you know what, let's go ahead and open the card back up. And I'm just gonna steal all of this in here. And we'll paste that in here. There we go. And the same thing for our container there. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and I'm gonna paste this in here as well. And I'm also gonna give a little bit of extra styling here. I'm gonna say flex. I'm gonna say justify center items center, just like that. And I'm gonna give this a color. I'm gonna say BG gray 300. And we actually can't even see this. So let's go back to our app.gsx and I'm gonna go ahead and flip flop this. I'm gonna comment out the card. I'm gonna uncomment our skeleton. So this should be what you see right there. And this is just the SVG um, that I pasted in there. If you wanna use uh, some sort of different icon or if you don't wanna use an icon at all, that's fine. And by the way, I'm gonna put a link to the GitHub down below. So if you wanna actually grab this specific SVG, then feel free to uh, do that as well. And we can actually use what's called from uh, until when animate dash pulse. If you go and save that, you kind of see that this is changing colors a little bit. kind of gives, gives it a little added effect and, uh, and looks pretty cool. So next up, what we're going to do just below this div here, I'm going to create another div and I'm going to say class name, we'll say H dash four for a height of four BG gray 300. We'll say rounded full and margin bottom four. And that's going to be kind of like our little placeholder in there. And next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have some smaller ones. So I'm going to say three, copy that down a handful of times. And I'll just change this first one back to four. So I kind of want this top one to be a little bit bigger. Um, and let's just change this to three. I'll change all these to three. So this first one's going to kind of simulate the title. And then the other ones will be like message body, if that makes sense. So that is our skeleton loader right there. So next, what we're going to do, let's go back into, we can actually close our skeleton loader. We can close our card. So now we have both of our components created, right? So what we're going to do in here, we're going to create um, some state. Whoops, what did I just do here? All right, we're going to create some state. I'm going to say const loading and then we'll say set loading just like that equal to use state and by default i'm just going to set this to true next what i'm going to do is add the use effect hook and instead of like pulling this from a database obviously i'm just going to use the set timeout so what we're going to say is <laughs> use effect all right and then we'll just add a little dependency array so we'll only run once and what we're saying is set timeout and you can set this to whatever you like but what i'm going to do is just set this to 1000 milliseconds, which is just one second. So what this is gonna do is just basically add a one second delay. And inside here, we'll just set loading to false. So go ahead and save that there. Next, what we're gonna do down here is we only want to render one of these on the screen. So what we'll say here, we'll just say, if loading is true, then let's go ahead and render this skeleton. So we'll cut, paste that in there. Else, we're going to render this card. So let's go ahead and save that right there. We'll go ahead and refresh up. Oh, we're getting a little error here. Oh, it's probably because we didn't import use effect. I would assume there we go. All right. So that's pretty cool right there. So if you refresh, we're seeing the loader, which would simulate some sort of a uh, API call. You can update this to two seconds. You can see now we see our loader for extended period of time. So that is how we can do a loading state and show a skeleton loader in React using Tailwind CSS. Hope you liked the video. If you did, smash the like button. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you on the next one.